Hello and welcome back to Insane Craft. So at the end of last episode, we talked about something that we found. We found nickel. So if we take a little bit of this iron, and I think we can do one to one, and we throw the nickel in here as well, we should get uh, invar. And with the invar, we can actually uh, upgrade our a watering can which would be really good for us so a couple bone meal redstone and the invar so we need to find the bone meal which I think eek uh, well yeah we've got enough to make uh, that so that's fine let's come back in I'd also like to put some torches down because um, I'm wondering if things are spawning in here because it's really bright and we just can't see that it's dark um, I don't know why it's so bright, FYI. Um, it is just the, the pack is like this, which I can't complain about because for YouTube it's much nicer to be bright than dark as hell. So let's put some torches around uh, and let's check this. One block of molten invar and three nickel ingots. Okay, well, we could technically then take another three. I don't know. But we've got one block, so that is lovely. So let's break this for a second, place this down, and get ourselves a whole molten invar block. And that's quite useful for lots of mods, to be fair, invar. So getting a little bit now is quite nice. Lovely, come on, come on. Well, while we're doing that, one thing I'd like to do as well is have a look for our redstone. Oh, no, no, don't want to sleep. Don't waste any time. No time wasting. Um, where did I put... I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. Okay, that's fine. Wait, no, I do know what I'm looking for. We had loads of spare chips. There, french fries. Cool. So we've got those... Um, I don't know what this is for. We're going to put it in here anyway. Um, that should be done now. Oh, really? Wow, this is slow. Um, because one thing I also thought we could do is if we're going to upgrade our watering can is we could possibly do a little bit more blood magic. Um, because I also noticed our sugar cane has grown a fair bit. Uh, and as we all know, the only thing holding us back from more packets of fries is uh, paper, weirdly. Uh, we have a lot of potatoes. So let's grab all of these. I don't think we need to plant anymore. Um, and we should be able to, one, hold more water now. And I think be better? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it holds more water that it's better or why it's better. But this should help us somehow. Okay, we'll leave that for a second anyway. Um, so we make this into paper. Then we take our paper and we make that into cones. Shoot. Uh, I shifted. Balance. That's 21 cones. And then we can take these and we can do that. And now we have plenty of french fries. We actually got more potatoes, I think, somewhere, right? Potatoes, lovely. And we could try and get a um, furnace. Maybe there's an electric furnace we could get. Resourceful furnace, uh, furnace generator, furnace. We could try that. Redstone furnace, that would be the ideal one, but that requires a lot of tin. Um, Let's not do that for now. Let's just take our coal uh, and let's try and harvest a little bit more potatoes. I think we get rid of the carrots for now and we go pure potato. Um, put the carrots away. Oh, that's our first poisonous potato, I think. Um, but now we can just stand here and water like this, I guess. I'm not seeing the benefit really. I, I think it's supposed to be a bigger range as well. 
hopefully a bigger range. Oh, I mean, actually, we are seeing a benefit. Because the quicker we can harvest potatoes, the more health we can get, the more of um, blood magic we can do. Which is the main thing. Because we need health to stab ourselves with. <laughs> and we're levelling up our farming ability, apparently, a fair amount. Yes. Let's get a stack of potatoes, which seems like an impossibility a long time ago. But now, the dream is alive. Come on. Yes, this is much better than the copper one. We can kind of just whiz around a little bit. Um, and watch everything pop up in front of our very eyes. I can't tell if it's growing better on the actual dirt or on this, like, darker dirt, or if there's any difference. It's very hard to uh, decipher. What would we need to upgrade this again? Electrum, fighter grow, many things we don't have access to, and that's fine. Uh, right, we're almost at a stack. Once we've got a stack, we'll chuck them in the furnace and start doing the blood magic. Because there's a couple things we can get into for blood magic, which will be nice. Uh, okay, almost there. Come on, plants. There's another and another. Not another one. I don't even know what that meme is. I just hear it. I'm like a parrot. Come on. Three more. That's all we want. Three more potatoes. Two more potatoes. Come on. Love it. Perfect. Uh, so let's chuck that in there with that and we'll leave them cooking. So now we can put these bits away for now. Uh, keep this on us. Uh, put this away. This and this away and just chuck these in here for now. Our organization is not great. But that's not what we're about. So, now let's take these bits. And I would like to, uh, at blood, we, the pendants would be really good, um, I think. But we just want some blank runes for now. Which require two blank slates each. And then any type of stone. So that's fine. Uh... I don't remember what stone is accepted, um, but I know that this will be fine if we cook it down, I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's, for the sake of making sure we have the stone ready, let's quickly run and grab a bucket of lava. Ooh. Uh, come through here. Oh. Bucket of lava. This is so handy to have like right on level with our base. Uh, put that in there, put that in there, and do a little swap around. Right now, we also need stone for the slates, so we can do some testing, I guess, with what stone will be accepted. Um, uh, will dolomite be accepted? Yes, apparently. So now we just prick ourselves all the way down, and then we wait for regen to kick in. Yes. So that's one. Uh... Ah! 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 Ah, he's got no skull! What's happening? Ah! Bone creature! Oh my god! <laughs> what happened? Where did he come from? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, let's try and organize our inventory a little bit more because that got a bit confusing. Uh, we can eat one of these, I guess. Uh, the bone creature dropped it. That should give us a good amount of blood. Uh, and that'll just keep us going for a second. Uh, so, oh, we need... Uh, so we need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12, 14, 16 blank runes to be able to upgrade our altar. That's fine. Um, oh, wrong button. Uh, let's eat. 
We should have a lot of blood in here, to be fair. Oh my god, we're lagging. That bone creature ruined me. Uh, but that's fine. So 16. So we don't have enough stone on us, to be fair, uh, to, to do this. Uh, we'll see if it'll accept chert. I'll take that out. Put that in. It does accept chert. Uh, it looks like this pretty much accepts anything. So that's fine. Uh, keep eating the french fries. Lovely. I never thought french fries would be our our saviour in terms of being able to just keep progressing. We do need to eventually find a better food, but I mean for now, it's working. I wouldn't knock it really. Um, if it... Yeah, I mean if it was a... If it was a case of we had to really farm something, we'd be in real trouble. But the fact that we can, for now, just farm potatoes and paper, um, it's pretty mad. So we're halfway there. Uh, let's keep eating, obviously, because we need to keep the blood full. And try not to kill ourselves. We actually got very close there. Half a heart was a, was a risky maneuver. There we go. Get some blood pumping. Five more. Keep going. Eat more chips. Eat chips. Don't die. Eat those chips. You won't die. Yes. Four. Five more now. Shoot. I can't count. <laughs> okay. Right. This is a little painful. It can get better. We can get better at this, it's fine. Um, right, let's check on our potato oven. It's going well. Potato oven's cooking up nicely. Uh, okay, four more. Oh, that really concerns me. We've made our base bigger and I feel like we've opened it up to so many more creatures of the, the night that want to hurt us quite severely. There we go. Uh, so two more. And we've done all right with chips, to be fair. I think because they give us a lot of saturation. Um, it really helps. Uh, last one. There we go. Um, so then we're going to need the stone from here. And we better hope it accepts this as stone. Um, right. And then we come over here. And we say blank runes. Okay. Right, so that's four so far. So we're just missing stone. Do we have any just polamite that is already, like, smooth? Will it accept chert? It will accept chert. That feels good. Uh, do that, balance, and do that, balance. And that's our eight done. So now, if we come over here and we break this for a second, and then we break all of these, why have we got... Oh, that's from the golden apple, isn't it? I was like, why are we buffed? Um, so if we break all of these, we can then put these down here. Shoot. And then take this for a second, put that down there, and then this should be a tier 2 altar. I'm not sure how we how we find out it's a tier 2 altar though, because I was so sure that the divination sigil worked for that. Um, I just don't remember which sig sigil works for it then. Winter's Breath, Elasticity, The Claw, uh, Feel the Power of Transportation, Teleposition, Haste, Fast Miner, Seer's Sigil, When Seeing is Not All, Phantom Bridge, Whirlwind, Compression, the Sigil of Suppression, Magnetism, Green Grove, that's something we, we'd quite like to be fair. Um, Oh, which maybe isn't the hardest to make, actually. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll mark that.
because that can give us growth ticks. Void Sigil, Lava Sigil is also one that would be quite nice. Coal, and again, uh, again not bad. Um, water, air, divination was what I thought we were after. Sentient tools, divinity. Sigil of Augmented Holding. Mini Portal. Sigil of Swimming. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I really thought this would um, tell us what we needed to know. If I just... If I delete this, right? Is there anything in here that kind of points to a... Uh, like, goggles or... Because I really thought it would tell us um, how well we were doing, you know? Um, do we hit it with this, maybe? Nope. Uh, let's eat some chips before we mess around too much. Yeah. No. No. No, okay. Um, Ritual Diviner, it's not that. Sacrificial Dagger, it's not that. Tinker, it's not that. I really thought it told you. Not that. We could look at the Blood Magic book. Maybe that'll explain it. Um, I think we might have it already. Um, book. Book. The Blood Magic book. Uh, I don't think we do, actually. So it needs a glass and a feather to make the sanguine whatchamacallit. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we need glass. One and a feather. One. Lovely. Uh, and then we can just craft up this book. Right. Um, architect. The divination sigil is one of the most useful tools and will tell you many valuable things about your life. Uh, make your life easier. The sigil is crafted using one piece of redstone and a blank slate. Yeah. When you right click a blood altar with the sigil, you can see the current tier. Yeah. So, I'm unsure. Current essence. Thing is, though, that's just telling me current essence that we have in our thing. If you right click the air with the sigil, it'll tell you the current amount of LP that's in your soul now. Yeah, so that's what we're being told currently. Um, overwrite the previous text. Uh, you will want to keep the sigil on you at all times. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Right click the blood altar with the sigil, you'll see the LP inside it. I don't understand why you think this is air. So, do I need blood in it? I mean, we've tried that, to be fair. Are we building the altar wrong? Um, blood altar. Right. Blood altar is one of the most central devices. <laughs> health. Sacrificial dagger. Add your own life essence. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, right click the altar. You can place items into it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, upgrading your altar. So yeah, we need to do this. As you go through the module, learn. Yeah, that's fine. And there's blood. That okay. Uh, to upgrade the altar, it's uh, to the second tier. You need to place eight blood runes. Eight blood runes around the altar, uh, and one level lower. If you're confused about the precise, uh, the item inspector Scaldum will tell you the precise. Yeah, but no, we've we've done that. These are blank runes, but I don't think 
rune, when it says blood rune, it means anything other than you just need blank runes. Hmm. That annoys me. That annoys me greatly. How's our potatoes? Right, let's make our... Let's do our cooking, at least. Uh, that, that will give us all of those. Oh, we've actually run out of blade, which is more surprising. Um, 21... 44. We need more blade. Um, okay, well, let's leave blood magic for a second, because it's kind of annoyed me. Um, I don't understand why it won't tell us properly what's happening. Um, we could try and make this real quick, though. So what's it need? Sugar, sugarcane, and two saplings. I reckon we can do that. Uh, so two sugarcane to start with. And then, ooh, and then some saplings. Two of these. Uh, we come over here, take this, put this in here. Uh, one, two, craft one of you into sugar. Then three, four. Um, sugar cane, any sugar cane, any, anything, oh, I see, uh, minimum 128, drained 20, got it, I see, so we have six, fair enough, it's not enough to do that, that's fine, um, <laughs> all of this episode we were just trying to do this initially, um, if I do gears, actually, wait, is there a... There is a gear thing. Still uses four ingots though, so kind of pointless. Um, how much tin did we get then? Uh, tin. We've got six, so that would be twelve. That actually probably allows us to um, to do this. So we'll we'll chuck those in there anyway to get that going. But that is where we're going to call this episode. We've had a bit of a, a bit of a mad one trying to get this to work. Um, I'm a bit annoyed. I will have maybe a look in the my test world as to why this isn't working. Because um, this is bound to us as well. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Um, but in the next episode, I think we've got a couple things that we need to start pushing on into. And I think it's probably more power related um, than anything. And we can then at least start to maybe make things like the latex processor and just sort of move into some other mods a little bit more because that would be quite nice. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging around with me for another 20 minutes. Let's have a look at the day just real quick. So it's day 14. I think 20 minutes is about a good daytime because we're starting in the evening, we're ending in the evening. Ugh. Kia! Huh, huh, huh. Ah, yes. Victory. Um, also, we did make a better watering can, didn't we? And we've made our potato harvesting quite uh, efficient now. Uh, ooh, let me in. Come on. There we go. Um, so anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now. Oh, wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video, I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything. Go. Go wild.